The moon Daedalon sits orbiting its planet Gilead Primus. It's one of Gilead Primus's five moons, Daedalon, Scalus, Saints Hold, Imperia and Anvil. Now it's understandable forgetting about it at first. It only has two very brief mentions in the core rulebook and the Forsaken System Player's Guide, which are as follows. The quote from the core rulebook reads, Daedalon is a graveyard of untold billions with more arriving in funerary barges every day, presided over the Adeptus Ministrum and a preceptory of the Order of the Sanctified Shield. And from the Forsaken System Player's Guide's Daedalon entry, which can be found under Enoch's Ecclesiarchy's important writings, it says there's an interment scripture for Daedalon called Dawning Proverbs. It's not until we get hold of the free RPG module called Graveyard Shift that you truly get a sense of what this moon has to offer, and I would be lying if I said that it wasn't my favourite location in the Gilead system so far. Because of this, for this episode of Wrath and Lori, a lot of the information has been taken from Graveyard Shift. Daedalon is one of the five moons from Gilead Primus, as explained before. It's a graveyard moon that sees thousands of those who have given their lives to the Emperor, and those unimportant enough to be buried or entombed on Enoch. The surface is almost entirely graves, tombs, mausoleums and graveyards, and these buildings can reach well into the skyline in areas. Noble houses here compete with those buildings and reach out into the skies. The moon's climate is drab and gloomy, and it does have a monsoon season. There are several notable factions present on Daedalon. The Gilead Gravediggers offer auxiliary support here, and as a minor policing force. The Corpse Tenders are, as the name implies, the organisation in charge of salvaging and sorting the thousands of bodies dropped daily, be that burying bodies, burning them in the furnaces, collecting skulls for servo skull factories, or collecting any missed augmentics for repurposing. The Order of the Sanctified Shield is stationed here as well, and act as the main policing force for the moon, and keeping a watchful eye on its inhabitants. The inhabitants of Daedalon are extremely superstitious, having created a culture completely revolving around the tending of the dead and what they can repurpose. Some build their houses out of salvaged and scavenged parts and bones from the dead, and the market in Baristia holds a lot of questionable items that have come into the hands of its merchants. Grave robbing is a common practice, though officially it's incredibly frowned upon. These grave robbers are called bone pickers, and tend to carry weapons to defend themselves and can be very aggressive if chanced upon. Because of the sheer number of grave robbing incidents, most mausoleums can be found built with defences, such as servitors armed and ready to defend the gates, and automated turret systems. Unfortunately, we only have information on one city, and this is Baristia. The city contains a cathedral next to the town square, and a grand library called Library Morton, and a servo skull manufacturer, amongst other buildings and lean-tos. One notable area of the city is Memento Square, which is the squalid downtown district full of hab blocks. Library Morton prides itself in cataloguing the notable persons who have been entombed upon the moon, as well as the usual litanies and books praising the Emperor. The library actually towers over some of the other buildings in the vicinity, and has had many rooms and annexes added on as the list of those who buried here grows exponentially. Memento Square itself is a grand gesture of morbidity, as it's made of the cobbled skulls of fallen warriors of the Imperium. This is where most merchants and citizens set their stalls up to trade. The Priory of the Sacred Form is a huge annex of the cathedral complex seen on the edge of Baristia. It oversees one of the many drop-off points for the corpse drop-offs from the local system. Here, bodies that can afford to be are blessed and buried, but those loyal to the Emperor but without coin are deemed departed and their meat is used to feed the Imperium in the form of corpse starch, and their skulls are sent to the servo manufactorums. The Jolly Undertaker is one of a few notable bars if you could call this particularly dilapidated thrown together building a bar, and it's situated within Baristia. That sums up today's unfortunately short Wrath and Lori. Let's hope we hear more about Daedalon in the future.